What is going on, Jet fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to get into Nathaniel Hackett sharing the reason for the New York Jets' offensive success this past week and why C.J. Mosley might not be good to go this week. Let's get things rocking and rolling with Nathaniel Hackett as he discusses why he thinks the New York Jets' offense has been successful, at least last week. And a lot of people are touching the football. You never want one person to be the you know true focal point um, you want the defense to have to be able to cover everyone, and that's just going to free more people to up, up to get big plays. I mean, Conklin had a big game. He hadn't seen a lot of touches. Um, Mike had some big key catches. I mean, Allen got a touchdown. I mean, that, that's what you're looking for. When multiple people are scoring, um, you're making a defense cover the whole field. So I, everything will come. We just have to keep getting better every game. Spreading the ball around. Eight different people caught passes. And sure, yeah, they want to get Garrett Wilson more involved. He's the number one wide receiver. He is their best wide receiver. Despite having a slow start to his standard, I am not concerned about him at all. He still had five catches and a touchdown in the game. If that's a bad game for Garrett Wilson, I think you sign up for it. Although I, I will say, I don't think this is going to be the week that we see Garrett Wilson have that big breakout game performance just because Patrick Sertan is lining up opposite of him. And we've seen Pat Sertan have success against Garrett Wilson in the past, number one. But also number two, I think this is a game that is going to yield a similar result to that we just saw a week ago. That Aaron Rodgers is going to have to spread the ball around. He's going to get the running backs involved, the tight ends involved, Lazard and... Um, Mike Williams, I think, might even be a bigger factor in week th in week four, excuse me, than he was the first three weeks of the year. So um, I, I'm very, very excited to watch this Jets offense go to work. And even if Garrett Wilson doesn't have a big game, I'm not saying hit the panic button in any stretch of the imagination. I still think he's going over a thousand yards. I think he hits his stride. Uh, but I'm just saying fair warning, this might be another game where like, seven or eight different guys catch passes and like Garrett might be under 60 yards. And if they win the football game and score a bunch of touchdowns again, who cares? CJ Mosley also gave an update on how he's feeling. He says he's feeling pretty good. This is a little bit of a long clip, but wanted to play the full thing. I'm feeling? Uh, feeling pretty good. Um, you no, know, just day to day with the toe injury. So not much I can you know, really do or manipulate for that area. So just taking it day to day. They say you tried to go uh, before the game on Thursday, just kind of what happened. Um, uh, it was really just a field thing. Um, obviously, it was a short week last week, so just really try to test it out. You know, obviously, in the cleat feels different when I'm just wearing shoes. Uh, but at that time, it just I didn't feel 100%. So I just want to go out there and um, pretty pretty much expose myself in our defense if I'm not 100%. How do you think the rest of this week will play out for you? I'm pretty much the same. You know, treatment. I'm still obviously studying. I'm preparing like I'm getting ready to play. But you know, it's, it's all about just how it feels on the field. So, like I said, um, you know, I can move around a little more freely when I'm just, you know, kind of in my turf shoes. But obviously, we play in cleats, so that's that's what's most important. So, whether it's trying to manipulate the cleat or just trying to give whatever comfortability I can to, to feel like I can go out there and play. I don't think CJ Mosley wants to rush back into anything. I think he wants to be fully 100% before he comes back onto the field. And that's how I would like to see the Jets handle this. Luckily, they have someone in Jamie and Sherwood who's filled in really nicely for CJ Mosley this past couple of weeks. Uh, he came in, what, about halfway through the game against Tennessee and defense really improved. Uh, you also saw success against the New England Patriots. I'm not saying just ditch CJ Mosley. Oh, it's it's better because Jamie and Sherwood's so much faster and he's so much better. Like, uh, I'm going to say pump the brakes on that. But what I would like to see is when CJ Mosley is finally healthy and when he is finally back with the New York Jets, that's when I think we are going to see more base personnel looks, more of a 4-3 rather than four defensive linemen and three corners on the field with just two linebackers. So I'm saying put Mosley, put Williams, and put Sherwood out there on the field. Sherwood's a converted safety we forget sometimes. So he plays small. Quincy Williams also plays small, and they're able to go sideline to sideline. They're also very good in coverage, uh, and they're just flying around like heat-seeking missiles. And you could use someone like C.J. Mosley and his football IQ out there to line everybody up on early downs, to be still a force in, in the run game and be successful there. You don't want him in coverage. You don't want him, you know, trying to cover a tight end or covering a running back out of the backfield. But is he still valuable enough to this defense in a role? I would say yes. Before I get out of here, just wanted to mention our event at Pioneers on Saturday. I was just on with Jake Asman earlier this evening 
talked about that. He's going to be in attendance. Myself, Ryan, Greenbean, Nick Shine, Jets Chaos. whole lot of fun. Jet fans are going to be out there. It's free to attend. You just show up, man. It's There's no cover charge. Um, you don't have to be 21 plus. That you, like If you're under 21, you're allowed to get in. Just going to be there for a couple hours hanging out. So if you're in the area, please feel free to stop by. I'm really looking forward to it. It's always a good time getting to catch up and talk with Jet fans. And then we'll be at the game on Sunday. 85 Jet fans going buck wild together. Can't wait. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you next time.